by Carrie, right? Thanks so much to everyone who subscribed to the channel and shared my videos over the last few weeks at the Women's March and the University of Cincinnati. Believe it or not, I've been making videos just like that for a while now and have caught some pretty crazy things on camera over the last year, ranging from getting assaulted to being threatened with rape and having David Hogg run away from me. Of course, none of this would be possible without your support. So please become a patron today at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett to help fund my activism and make more videos like these possible so we can continue to expose the intolerant left for who they really are. If you want to support my team at Liberty Hangout who edits all of my videos and publishes articles on a daily basis, visit patreon.com slash Liberty Hangout to help them out as well. To thank you guys for your support, we've put together a video of the top 10 craziest encounters I've had with liberals over the last year and a half. Here they are. Number 10. I put together a poster of flags, which included the American flag, the Confederate flag, and a number of communist flags, and asked students at Kent State which was the most offensive. Their answers probably won't shock you. Confederate flag. And why? Uh, like racist white people, I'm sorry. But racist white people really promote that and use that against black people. Like, you know, da, da, da. like, I don't know, it's just that one. So what's your final say? The Confederate flag. Okay, even though it killed millions of people, yeah. dictatorship, their people are starving, yeah. these people got their rights taken from them. Yeah, all of them are offensive, all except for the American flag. Number nine. One day before the midterm elections, President Trump came to Cleveland, Ohio to speak at a rally. A couple of sad protesters stood by in the highway, and one kept hitting me with his Trump puppet. <laughs> Do you think that this makes people understand your point? Hail Trump, I feel like. Hail Trump, I feel Please do not touch me. Please do not touch me. Raise your hand if you think the Democrats are going to lose tomorrow. Please stop touching me, sir. Sir, quit touching me. Stop touching me. Number eight. After gun control became all the rage in the early half of 2018, I wanted to test college students' knowledge of firearms. We put guns from Star Wars in a board alongside two rifles and a Glock. And unsurprisingly, I learned that liberals want to ban guns that don't even exist. Okay, so out of the guns pictured here, which ones would you advocate to be banned? Well, to the public, obviously, like the, this gun looks dangerous, and also this one, and this one, and that one. Ban guns. Which ones would you ban? All but that. Off of this list, which guns do you think should be banned? Should ban all of them. So do you think this gun does equal harm as that gun? Yeah, in terms of, you know, potentially taking a life, I think so. So this gun is actually from Star Wars, so it couldn't do the same thing as this one. <laughs> Number seven. In the very first video I ever did for Liberty Hangout, I approached a woman with a feminist shirt on and asked her if she wanted to end women's suffrage since women are obviously suffering under Trump. She was all for it. Hey, I have a quick question. Oh, yeah. Okay, how do you feel about Nancy Pelosi's push to end women's suffrage after Trump got elected? Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I don't really like keep up much with like but you have a feminist shirt on. Shouldn't you keep up with the women's suffrage that's going on? Um, yes, I guess you're right. However, I'm only wearing this shirt because I have an event to go to today. So basically, she just wants to end women's suffrage. We're just suffering under it. Trump. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well then, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, we're on the same page. That's awesome. Good. All right, good cool. Idea, Bring that up at your uh, event thing that you're going to. Oh. Number six. In April of 2018, I organized my first open carry demonstration at Kent State University. When liberals on campus got wind of this, they organized a protest to demand gun control and put duct tape over their mouths. Does anyone want to comment on anything that they're doing here? Do you guys want to comment on anything that you're doing here? Does anybody want to comment on anything that they're doing here, why they're here today? So you have all this media attention around you and you don't want to say anything. All right, well, that pretty much sums it up. Number five, 
Last summer, I was invited to speak at the big pro-gun rally in Tallahassee, Florida, which coincided with a March for Our Lives event taking place down the street. After the conclusion of our rally, I ventured over to theirs in hopes of having a conversation with David Hogg, but his security guards hauled him away to the bus as soon as I arrived. Number four. Again, with gun control being all the talk last year on campus, my Liberty Hangout chapter hosted an event called Gun Control is Gun Violence. Change my mind. One student was so angered by our event that he assaulted one of our members and broke his thousand dollar camera. How about we change that to confirmation bias? for you, but confirmation well, but we're, we're giving you facts. We're All you've given us so far is we should ban the AR-15 because it's high capacity. Right there. You haven't given me we're, one reason other than, we're giving you numbers. Than, than anything. I mean, all right, I'll do what we're in college, but we're just trying to start a discussion. Um, <laughs> you Dude, you can't, you can't do that. You owe me a thousand dollars. Number three. Just a few weeks ago at the Women's March, this crazy feminist was so bothered by my questions about firearms that she tried grabbing my mic and hitting my boyfriend. So you agree to this, this we interview. Right to talk. Talk. We have a right to Get listen. Get the f*** listen out. To you. So she, she's being pretty disruptive. Are you going to do anything about it? Um, I believe you did not want me to. Dude, step back. Don't tell him to stop following her. Get the f*** out of my face, too. Go ahead, Go get a red outfit and wear it. Okay. Also, do you need to stand up for her? Take the f*** off. Up for her? Take the f*** off. You know, stop. That's assault. That's assault. What? You know, stop. Seriously. That's assault. That is assault. What's your name? Is this your daughter? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Is this your daughter? What's your name? What's your name? Is this your daughter, ma'am? She just assaulted us. Okay, your daughter just assaulted us. Your daughter just assaulted us. Okay, we'll, we'll go let the police know your daughter assaulted us. Are she just assaulted us? Are you gonna do anything? Don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. Please back away from me. You've already touched me at this point. I'm not harassing you. I'm not harassing you. Number two. Last fall, I attended the Trump rally in Erie, Pennsylvania to interview protesters. While I was there, an old man threatened to throw me on the ground and rape me. Very progressive. Not in history. What, tell, tell me about the age. Don't touch me. Yeah. I want to touch you. Don't touch Oh, I'm, why not? I'm, good boy. Hey, I'm allowed to touch her. No, no. No, you are not allowed to touch me. Yes, I am. No, you are not. The goddamn ground and no, rape her. Because I have rights. So, he, so this man just said that he could rape me if he wanted to. Look at your, look at your Supreme Court. I don't want, I'm going to go get the officers because that is, that's disgusting. No, no, don't touch me. Don't touch me. No one touched you. Yes, they did. I know he did, but we just got to back up away from this lady's store. You can move away. You can move away. That's why I yeah, it was messed up. I heard that. I stood and I like how there's women defending him when he just said he could rape me. And there's women defending. I thought we believed women. I thought we supported women. Someone, that man just said he could rape me. No, he did not. Yes, he did. <laughs> you were supposed to believe women. Why aren't you believing me? Ma'am, why aren't you believing me? You're a woman. I'm a woman. Believe women. Believe women. So this guy is following me. Do not touch me and do not come near me. Yeah, now you realize it. Do not stay right there. Do not come near me. Oh, we will put it out there. And finally, at number one, perhaps one of my most viral encounters that liberals continue to take out of context to this day. While at the Erie rally, this large feminist started screaming so close into my microphone that I said, she's going to eat it. She got in my face ready to assault me, so I asked her, you know I carry, right? 
and she walked away huffing and puffing. Then she went on Twitter later that night admitting that she intended on punching me in the head. Hey, hey! Oh, oh! Look at her shirt. Yes, I have boobs drawn on my shirt because I'm a liberated woman! I am! That's my top 10 favorite moments from my videos. Which one was your favorite? Comment below and let me know and tell me what campus you'd like to see me visit next. Again, to help me make more of these trips possible, please become a patron today at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett and visit patreon.com slash Liberty Hangout to support my team. Thanks so much for watching and make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. Support us at patreon.com slash Liberty Hangout and get yourself some cool Second Amendment merchandise at libertyhangout.org store.